Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, I write this as x times x times x, which is x raised to the power 3, minus x times x, that's x square, equals to 100 on this side. And from here, we take 100 to the left hand side, this becomes x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2, then minus 100, now equals to zero here the next step also 100 can be expressed as 125 minus 25 then what we have becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus into bracket 125 minus 25 plus bracket equals to zero here then from here minus open this bracket we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 125 plus 25 then equals to 0 here that is here we can express 125 as 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 raised to power 3 and also 25 as 5 times 5 which is 5 raised to power 2 that is here what we have becomes x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 2 then equals to 0 here and from here we bring the power of 3 together we have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 also the power of 2 together minus x raised to power 2 plus 5 raised to power 2 then equals to 0 here that is this same thing as x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into bracket. Then here minus is common. We have minus into bracket. x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 2 left plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then this first bracket follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. This is the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a square plus a b plus b square close brackets and also the second bracket here follows when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a plus b then what we have here now can be written we have x minus y into brackets open bracket x square plus 5x plus y square close brackets then minus also this follows and becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x plus 5 close brackets then equals to 0 here the next step here we have x minus 5 comma factor it out and we have x minus 5 into bracket then open bracket here remain x square plus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 then here remain minus into bracket x plus 5 close bracket then close this bracket equals to 0 here that is from here minus open this bracket here we have x minus 5 into bracket then open bracket here we have x square plus 5x plus 25 then minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here that is next step here this becomes x minus 5 into brackets open bracket here we have x square 5x minus s becomes plus 4x then 25 minus 5 that's plus 20 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here and here this becomes x equals to 5 which is a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20. Then, 
apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus or root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1 at this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square as 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 as 80 and all over 2 which implies we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 we have minus 64 all over 2 then you can write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2. Then this follows from when we have root a times b and write it as root a times root b. Then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 all over 2 which implies here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 64 as 8 which minus 1 is i over 2 then from here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2 as this here we have x equals to Minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus 8 over 2, same thing as 4i. As this here, we have two complex solutions. And therefore, altogether in this problem, we have three solutions here. Yeah? One resolution and two complex solutions here. When we write this down, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i, and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i making three solutions together one real two complex now you can check if this satisfies this given problem when x equals to 5 what we have here becomes 5 times 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5 this is equals to 100 on this side and 5 times 5 times 5 that's 125 minus 5 times 5 that's 25 this is equals to 100 on this side 125 minus 25 equals that's 25 which is equal that's 100 rather which is equals to 100 on this side as this left hand side now equals to the right hand side as this x equals to 5 satisfies this given problem. Now, when we check for the other two complex solutions, this also will satisfy. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you in the next class and bye for now.